Welcome to EJ Bits and welcome to the world of Kappa Espresso. Today I'll be testing out the Kappa Coffee Conical Burr Grinder to its limits and I'll be giving you a fair and honest review. And this video has all of these parts so don't forget to stay tuned until the end of the video. You can purchase this on their website, they currently have a 1000 peso off promotion. The link is in the description and the price is on screen. Let's start with the unboxing, build quality and design. Straightforward packaging, no broken parts or pieces here since the product is very well packaged. And as we can hear, the coffee bean hopper is made of plastic. Really good plastic. And this one right here, the locking mechanism, sounds very solid, as we can hear. Now we move on to the porta filter adapters. They come in two sizes and they are also made of plastic. Now we move on to the actual coffee grinder machine, which looks really, really good. As we can see here, it has a nice and modern industrial look to it, which I really appreciate. And here we have the coffee drip tray for easy cleanup. So this is very easy to use. I will show you how to use the product later, so don't forget to watch until the end of the video. This is the coffee powder container chrome finish on the upper lid as well as a rotating cover. You can store your coffee powder here after using. Very solid timer, up to 50 seconds and this front metal plate is, well, it's made of metal. So far, we can see consistent good build quality all throughout the entire product. Here on the top part, we have the button. And this top plate which is also made of plastic and here we have the actual conical burr made of metal to give you consistent grind size all the time that's what they claim here's the underside and next here we have the 16 fine-tuned grind settings for your own perfect extraction so that's 16 sizes we will test some of them later in the video so overall unboxing build quality and design that would be a 10 out of 10 for me now we move on to the how to use before, during, and after. So just watch this video while I share with you some important precautions and tips from Kappa themselves. So number one, it's best to use a voltage regulator or an AVR so that you can prolong this product's life cycle. And also, the hopper needs to be in a locked position. As you can see here right now, don't forget to lock this. This is a safety precaution, very important. Also, change your grind sizes while the machine is running. So this is a very good habit to prevent the machine from jamming. Also, after two minutes of use, make your machine rest. You know, don't use it for longer than two minutes. Again, this product is for home use. And I really recommend you go to the description down below for all of these important reminders for your reference, as well as read the instruction manual. All information is there. Now we move on to the cleaning process of this device. So be very careful, make sure that you know it's unplugged when you clean the device. Use the brush and this metal attachment is removable. Don't use water to clean this device, you know, just use the brush and keep using your machine so that your device will, you know, last very very long and so that you don't have, you know, remaining stale coffee bits inside. We want to prevent that as much as possible. Overall, that's a 9 out of 10 for me, very easy to use. Now we move on to our specialty coffee beans. So these are all from Cape Omali in Baguio. So of course, we will be testing all of these beans using our Kappa coffee grinder in different coffee grind sizes. So very important for you to stay until the end of the video. So we have Barako. And this one, this dark one, this is Benguet coffee. Very good for, you know, the drip coffee as well as coffee machine and French press. Here we have their premium Sagada, which is their premium line of coffee. This is Sagada Bissau. And we can see that, you know, it's more vibrant and this will be used for espresso because, you know, uh, the sellers recommended it to be used with espresso. It has a bigger bean size and it's more vibrant than the Barako. So I'm very excited to taste all of these. 10 out of 10, very special coffee beans. Now we move on to the grinding tests. Look at the top left of your screen. We have the grind size number as well as the type of coffee beans to be used for that process. So this is for espresso again, grind size number one. Let's get started. So 
so I made it go for a little too long but that's a learning experience for me. We can see that the grind size is really really fine, very good for espresso. Let's take a look at grind size number 3. So we can see here that we have you know some remaining bits from the previous coffee grind so this is still a learning experience but definitely follow the instruction manual as you see here. For the porta filter just click on the button and it will start grinding your coffee for you. Again, grind size number three. We will go through all of these grind sizes and you know compare all of them later in the video near the end. So don't forget to stay until that part of the video. Again, grind size three, good for espresso. Now this one is the Starbucks French Roast and this would be grind size number six. And we will set the timer for 30 seconds. Let's see how that works. For this one, it's dark roast, so you know it has more of an intense smoky flavor. And we can see a more sandy texture with you know a little bit more coarser than the espresso. This is grind size number seven. Again, we will be comparing all of these later and give you a closer look for all of these. This one probably good for AeroPress and you know other coffee applications. This one is grind size nine, again using the Starbucks French Roast Coffee. And we can see here that I am using a glass bowl to extract these coffee from the bean form. You could also do that, that's not a problem. Next we have Barako, grind size number 12. My personal favorite since it tastes very fruity. Here we have the coffee itself. As we can see, it's definitely more coarse. And this is definitely good for your pour over or maybe even your home coffee maker machine. As we can see here, nice and vibrant medium roast color from the Barajo. Very fruity also, I really love this coffee bean. Now we move on to grind size. 14. And for this one, we will be using the Benguet coffee bean. We can see a nice shininess to it. And overall experience, take a listen to the sound, it sounds different. And this is their grind size 14 again, a little bit more coarse. This is good for French press or your home coffee maker. Grind size 16 is good for your cold brews. And you know, this is really, really coarse and you can tell a difference. So now I guess we are ready to take a look at the differences between all of these grind sizes. Starting with grind size number three. So grind size number one was used for espresso making and I drank that coffee already. This is grind size number three, as we can see, nice sandy texture, good for your espresso machine. This is fine grind. Next, we move on to this one. This is grind size number six, good for your AeroPress. You know, still fine, medium fine, you can consider. And moving on to our grind size seven. Little bit of a difference, but not too much. Grind size number nine has more of a difference. We can see a medium grind, good for your pour over coffee. Barako at grind size number 12. Nice and brown color. This is the medium roast. This is good for your home coffee maker as well as the pour over. And this one moving on. Grind size number 14. Good for your French press. So this is a coarse grind. And an extra coarse would be grind size number 16. Good for your cold brew. So that's all for the grind sizes. Very consistent as you can see. So overall grinding tests, they were a success. 10 out of 10. We move on to the overall rating of this product. Really good, very nice coffee grinder, very consistent from 1 to 16. If you make your coffee this way, it adds a nice satisfaction that you made your coffee from the grinding process to the extraction process of whether using an espresso machine by Kappa or maybe a coffee machine by Kappa. Better than a cafe experience for me, and that would be a 9.75 rating out of 10. Don't forget to check this product in the description down below. Really good product, really good gift for the holidays. And this is, well, I recommend this product again. And that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bells. There are more review videos coming in the future. So you should definitely watch them. You can also comment down below or request a product for me to review as I provide in-depth and honest review videos.